Hello friends, welcome to Cracket CSC and in this series of algorithm, today we will be discussing some previous year gate questions on Bellman Ford algorithm which is used to find out the single source shortest path. It can find the single source shortest path even if there is any negative edge circle, right? So in the previous video, we have discussed everything about the Bellman Ford algorithm regarding the time complexity and other uh, important steps to using some example. So before starting this video, I would like to request you all, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe the channel and press the notification icon to get the latest update on my new videos. And if you have not checked the previous video of Bellman Ford algorithm, do check that video and try to solve these questions after, solve, after checking that particular video. So now let's start with this particular question. So here I'm having three different questions which are very important because two questions came in gate and this one came in UGC net right so if you have gone through that particular video the previous video just try to pause this particular lecture and try to find out the correct answer for all these three later you can check or confirm those answers after watching the solutions right see so the first question is which of the following statement is or are correct regarding Bellman Ford shortest path algorithm so here it is asking that among these two which one is correct right so there are two statements p and q he is asking which of the particular statement is true with respect to bellman ford shortest path algorithm so what is the p statement says that the bellman ford algorithm always finds a negative weighted cycle if one exists in s yes this is true if there is only one component in the graph that means if there is a disconnected component this p statement may fails because the disconnected component does not have any adjacent edges from first component to the second component in that case it will fail q says that find whether any negative weighted cycle is reachable from the source so here it, this is asking that reachable from the source and here it is saying always so if there is a disconnected graph it cannot always find a negative weighted cycle but if it is reachable from source then it can find the negative weighted cycle so which one among these is true the q is true that means b is the right answer all right now let's go with the second question so this particular first question came in gate 2009 and the second question came in gate 2013 so what what is he asking that what is the time complexity of Bellman Ford single source shortest path algorithm on a complete graph so this is an important word in the question that is complete graph so here it, they are not talking about some ordinary graph talking about the complete graph and in complete graph we know that so generally we know that the time complexity is order of v or e for this Bellman Ford single source shortest path algorithm but if I talk about the complete graph that is kn and let the vertices are n and let the edges are also n but in complete graph edges are equals to the v square I already told you in the previous video if this is the case then I can write it as n square because I am having n vertices now if I put this n square in this particular statement I will be getting order of n into n square that means this will be nothing but order of n cube so this is the right answer for this particular question now let's talk about this third question the similar kind of question came in UGC net where they have given some algorithm and they have asked that which of the following is used to find out the single source shortest path so we know that the Prim's algorithm is used to find out the minimum spanning tree right the dextra algorithm is used for finding the single source shortest path and this fourth uh, ford fulkerson algorithm is used to all pair shortest path so this ford fulkerson is used for all pair that is not related to the single pair so what we can see that the dextra algorithm is used to find out the single source shortest path but in case if in this particular question anywhere Bellman Ford is given then Dijkstra algorithm and Bellman Ford algorithm both will be answered. So remember these things the Dijkstra and Bellman Ford these both algorithm are for the single source shortest path. 
सो दीज आर द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच केम इन टू द पास इन प्रीवियस इयर गेट एग्जाम्स सो प्रैक्टिस मोर सच क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी ट्रबल वेल सॉल्विंग एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन ज्वाइन माई फेसबुक ग्रुप आई विल प्रोवाइड यू द लिंक ऑन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड ज्वाइन द ज्वाइन द ग्रुप एंड डिस्कस योर क्वेरीज और द डाउट ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप सो इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड ऑल्सो आस्क दैम टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल राइट एंड लाइक दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो प्रोवाइड योर कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग कीप सपोर्टिंग कीप लर्निंग हैव अ ग्रेट डे